commercial auto. Um, Auto lab is pretty much auto liability coverage and it's required by all the states. The District of Columbia requires all of their autos to have coverage and it covers medical expenses of injured um, persons, damages to other property, and commercial auto typically have higher limits. And, and what I like to um, say about commercial auto um, is most of the big companies the Federal, Federal Expresses and others who have a tremendous amount of, of trucks or fleets, they have a self-insured program, and the self-insured program is being uh, monitored by the, our Department of Motor Vehicles. But it's cheaper for them to do that. Small businesses just don't have that option. So what small businesses have been doing is um, going out to the insurance companies to buy it, and it's very, very uh, expensive in, in, in that kind of context. But you have to shop around, similar to what they said about the business liability insurance coverage. Factors determining commercial versus um, per, um, personal auto insurance, who owns or leases the vehicle, and who drives the vehicle. And when you have commercial coverage, is what they require, the insurance companies require you to do, is list all your drivers, provide all of the information on your drivers, their driver's license, how long they're going to be driving, what's the, what's the radius of their driving um, process. Because if you have an individual that's supposed to be driving a car in Washington, D.C. area, and he's in New York, they won't pay for it. And they just won't pay for that particular claim. And you know, how vehicle is, uh, is personally used is, is the main thing, and that's what um, relative to where you're driving and what, what area you're going to be driving in. Tips regarding cost of premiums or the type of vehicle that you have, the safety, the anti-theft devices that you have, and where vehicles are parked. Because um, if you park in vehicles in places where we, you have a lot of, um, it's not a secure area, and you have a lot of um, thefts um, related to or in that particular area, it's going to cost you more and the number of previous claims that you, that you have against that particular, um, particular insurer, and the liability limits that are chosen. Obviously, if you have a higher deductible, if you have a $250 deductible and you make it a $1,000 deductible, the premium is going to be cheaper. Special considerations are uh, relative to this is business owns, if the businesses own the vehicle, you need to, and this is what I mentioned before, you need to list the name, of the, as, uh, list the name as insured, but you got to list the drivers as well. If relying on your personal auto insurance and personal liability umbrella, check if the business related um, liability is excluded. And if employees operate the company car, you have to make sure they have good driving records.